All right, YouTube, it's uh, Droid Review here. Hey, um, I just wanted to show you guys uh, something real quick. Um, it's this new kind of way of installing ROMs. It's going to make things a lot easier for you guys. You don't have to use this uh, this way to do it, but I highly suggest to. It's pretty cool. I'm going to show it to you right now. First things first, I'm going to uh, just go into the market and do a search for a program called ROM Space Manager. It's right there. When you click on it, you're going to get two different options here. You're going to get the free version, and then you're going to get the premium version. I highly suggest get both. Now, mind you, the premium version is $399. Um, I'm not endorsing this at all or anything like that, but honestly, it's worth it when you see what it does. And I'm going to show you exactly right now. The free version is basically just going to um, uh, be able to install one type of ROM and flash one type of recovery. Um, but when you get the premium version... Um, you're gonna see uh, basically what it does and what's really cool about it is when you click on it here ROM manager the first thing that you're gonna want to do is flash uh, clockwork mod recovery when you do it you're gonna click on Motorola droid CDMA so you're gonna go ahead and click that it's gonna start a little progress bar up here to the top with a little thinking thing um, this I've already done this once, and as you can see, um, the latest recovery version is 1.773, and I'm on 1.773. So it's going to go ahead and go in here, and it's going to flash it again for us. Um, but uh, no big deal. We'll let it go ahead and do its thing. Okay, we're back, guys. That took like three minutes, four minutes to actually flash. That was a long time. I don't know why it took so long. I think it just depends on your service. Um, maybe advisement connect to Wi-Fi before you do this that way you can download a lot faster you're gonna get a message obviously it says successfully flash clockwork mod recovery go ahead and push OK um, now here's here's some cool stuff so obviously you have a reboot into recovery which that'll reboot into recovery so you can actually manually do it yourself but this program is gonna make it so that you can automatically do it from here every it's gonna do everything for you um, if there's ROMs on your SD card you want to install, you can actually click on install ROM from SD card and then you can come down here and um, find which ones you want. Um, you know, uh, like there, there's one right there, Cyanogen, Shoals Over the Air, blah, blah, blah. Um, go ahead and push back here. It'll tell you which ROM you are currently running, which is uh, Cyanogen Mod 5.0.4.2. I'm not sure how to say that. Cyanogen Mod? Cyanogen Mod? It's just a bad name anyway um, maybe it's not a bad name it's just hard it's hard to freaking say all right uh, anyway so um, you can actually check for ROM updates um, uh, download certain ROMs which is this is the coolest portion download ROM you click on there um, it has all kinds of different stuff to choose from you have next theme which is a theme uh, ultimate droid uh, you have the cy cyanogen mods so if you click on the Cyanogen mod here, it's going to bring up all the versions right now. And um, it's going to say whether they're stable or not. It's going to say unstable, maybe beta. Like if we go to Ultimate Droid here, they have the latest Ultimate Droid that's automatically updated, which is really cool. So it's 8.1.1. I mean, last I saw it was 8.0. So, I mean, these guys update their ROMs so fast that it's hard to keep up and this tool ROM manager is going to do everything for you. It's going to shoot all the updates that you need to the phone so that you can constantly go in here and update on your own real easily. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to just show you a quick way to uh, do this. So what we're, what I want to do is um, let's go ahead and install Ultimate Droid 8.1.1. Um, let's go ahead and do that. So let's click on it here. Um, it gives you all kinds of different kernels to choose from. You know, um, a lot of the, these are the CPU kernels, guys. So just mind you, you're going to use set CPU to change and overclock your device. Um, usually I'm going to click on Chevy's 1.2 gigahertz. Um, that's my fave. Low voltage, obviously, so we can keep the uh, heat down quite a bit. Click OK. Um, these are the launchers that you can choose from. So you have Helix, Helix 2, Launcher, and Launcher 2. Okay, you can choose from any of these. Um, yeah. Obviously, you kind of have to know what they are. Some of them are just standard launchers. You're gonna have a. Uh, um, some of them are gonna be like the Nexus launcher, the one that you just saw me using, that actually has the animation and the roll, the kind of like the roll up apps when you open it up. So let's go ahead and click on Helix 2. Click OK. Uh, music apps. 
So you could do three, you know, music. Um, honestly, this is hands down, this is new to me. They actually are implementing this um, music app and it's actually made by Rock On. And the only thing that comes up is called three, but it's hands down the best music app I've seen in the market. Um, the media doc, it doesn't really matter to me because I don't use it. So old doc's fine for me. Um, ROM add-ons. So you can add all kinds of stuff, you know, so I don't need Amazon MP3. I don't need car doc. I don't need corporate calendar. I do want email. I do want Facebook. I do want the news and weather app. Um, Nexus mod. I have no idea what that is. Uh, quick office is always good to have. Pandora is always good to have. I don't use visual voicemail because I use Google talk. Um, I'm sorry, Google voice. Um, I don't know what Nexus mod is. You know what? Let's just go ahead and add it anyways. Why not? Click OK. Um, now it's pretty much done. Now uh, what you're going to want to do now is if you see up here, it's downloading. OK, guys? So I'm at 0% right now. This is going to take quite some time. So what you're going to want to do is um, uh, after it's done downloading, um, you, it, it will go from there. So when this is done downloading, I'll come back into the video. OK, guys? Be right back. OK. Um, I'm just going to say one more thing, guys. That took a long time. Please make sure you're connected to a Wi-Fi when doing this. If you must do it off of 3G, you're going to be there for 45 minutes trying to download this thing because um, those files are quite big. You know, they can be upwards of 200 megabytes. And on a 3G connection, you know, sometimes that can be fast. Sometimes that can be up to like 45 minutes. And then if you get a phone call or like, you know, you know, something interrupts your phone, you're going to have to start all over again. It's real finicky. Uh, when it's done downloading, obviously, you know, you can see right here, it says download complete. Um, if you, uh, it's going to bring up this menu when it's done downloading. You can click on backup existing ROM and wipe data in cache. I suggest to do both. I always suggest you don't have to wipe your data because it's going to delete all your apps. You're just going to have to re-download them all. It's not a big deal to me. I do it every day almost now because I'm constantly changing my ROMs. But um, I think it's always better when you install a fresh new ROM like this to always wipe data in cache, okay? And obviously always, you know, create a backup. So now we're going to click OK. See what happens here. It's going to probably shoot us into recovery mode, I'm assuming. Now this is my first go at this, guy. So, you know, if, I, if it screws up, you, you're the first to see. Oh, so there it goes, and it's installing. So um, YouTube doesn't give me too much time, so um, I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera off, and when it comes back, I'll, I'll put it back on for you guys, okay? So I'll see you guys in a minute after this is done installing. All right, guys, it's pretty much done. Um, the, it's going to take about three or four minutes to install this ROM. Um, this is, by the way, the custom boot animation that's going on right now. Because when, as soon as you click on go, you know, it's going to put your phone into recovery mode automatically. It's automatically going to back up your settings. And it's automatically going to install everything. So, I mean, this is real dumbed down. Um, all you got to do is download ROM manager and, um, and, and basically choose what you want and install it. That's it. There's no, you know, booting into recovery mode manually and doing this and getting error this and error that and, you know, making sure the folders are this and the folders are that. Everything's done from the phone. As you can see, I didn't install or I didn't plug in my phone to the uh, USB cord once that whole time. So that's why I'm saying this is kind of recommended for you guys to check out. It's ROM Manager. There's a free version, you know, that's only going to be able to get you one ROM. That's why I highly suggest grab the $3.99 version. Yes, I know $4. It's kind of expensive, but um, it's more of a donation to this guy. Um, it's pretty good, pretty good application, you know, if for those. For those that aren't really wanting to get super duper into it and learn everything and learn how to do this and, and what these errors mean or know how to troubleshoot because honestly this is a simple way to uh, to uh to do everything for you i mean all you have to be all you have to do is is root root your phone and you're good to go and i have a video on that that takes less than five minutes for most of you guys now i hope i'm assuming so anyway um what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to log into my Gmail here real quick and I'll get back to you uh, with the actual ROM, okay? Be right back. 
All right, guys, this is basically it. Um, we're way out of time, so I'm going to basically just cut this short. Um, but this is obviously Ultimate Droid version 8.1.1. Uh, we used ROM Manager. Again, real awesome program. Uh, give it up to Kush. I'm going to have a lot of links in um, the description on where to reach those guys and see more from them. So um, please support these guys. These developers are awesome. That, that, that manager made it just so simple for you guys to install ROMs. Um, anything that comes out new, you're automatically going to be able to install it. So thanks again for watching. Um, I really appreciate all your comments. Keep subscribing. You guys are awesome. I'll see you guys soon. See ya.